hi everyone in this video i am going to discuss the things related to the comparison of the two infra softwares that is one civil 3d another one is open roads designer i am going to discuss briefly what are the common tools okay it will give a better idea if you if you are moving from civil 3d to open roads or open roads to civil 3d okay let's start so first thing uh, autodesk in invented this uh, civil 3d and then bentley developed the open roads designer okay so and then coming to the first feature that is in open roads designer we have a separate concept like workspace and work set concept in the workspace uh, it is like a company or a country type standards in work set you have like a project type standards okay so if you have this common workspace and work set so automatically the particular dgn will get the all the standards levels feature definitions all will come from the workspace and work set so similarly in civil 3d we have a one thing common template that dwt so if you have this dwt metric one so whatever the metric related standards will applicable for the particular dwg file okay so this this is the important comparison and then next explorer this one is in open roads in explorer gives the details of the all items in present in that particular decision if in that particular decision if you have some alignments so it will show here and then if you have terrains it will show here and then if you have applied some corridors in that particular dgn so it will show here okay suppose if you have supplied linear template also uh, it will display here so this is a very important tool in uh, open roads in explorer you will get all the details of the uh, items applied in the dgn so similar concept here in a that is nothing but tool space in tool space you will get displayed by the uh, all items if you have surfaces it will get displayed and then if you have alignments it will get displayed here and then corridors also so similar type of uh, thing this uh, name is different okay and then layer we call uh, we call this as a layer and similarly we call it in open roads as a level okay so in layer we can give you the the line space line type and line weight and transparency and we can freeze it global freeze everything we can control it but in uh, open roads we have a level manager here we can create new levels and we can give the colors all those things and one more thing is that level display in that level display you can control the uh, display okay like lay iso we use to do in autocad so you have you can control in in this level display okay here level display is there one thing so then other common thing is terrain features in terrain we can create uh, we can add break lines you can add point files and we can add boundaries similarly in a uh, open roads also you can add break lines you can add wides you can add spots spots nothing but points okay and then you can add uh, contours also and you can define it what is that and that uh, means what it actually if it is a contour you can give a feature type as contour okay that's it and then a maximum uh, side length and maximum triangle length also, also similar in the both civil 3d and open roads then styles in civil 3d okay so if while creating horizontal alignment you may get uh, observed that alignment style what is proposed and uh, uh, other thing basic type all those things so it gives the all details color and uh, if curve is there what type of color it should be there so that will come in and this alignment style itself so similarly you have one thing in open roads that is feature definition feature definition is nothing but a combination of all features like uh, level uh, 
and uh, styles uh, what to say in 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 3d how it, it is going to display and 2d how it is going to display so all things come in a single term that is called feature definition if you just assign a particular line with some jam baseline or the road edge of payment automatically color and uh, linear stroking all things will get uh, affected okay so feature definition is very very important in the uh, open roads okay so now template in open roads you have a concept of template in template there is a other thing you can see components components are there and conditions is nothing but a daylight day and light conditions in civil 3d and linear templates surface templates okay so using these components you can make a template like we do we use to do in civil 3d in civil 3d you can you see if you click on this toggle space you will get the features one is lens shoulders medians curves daylight daylight nothing but as i said in oh, end conditions okay in open roads okay so these are the tools similar in a oh, open roads and uh, civil 3d but we call it in a differently one is template and one is assembly okay. and one more thing horizontal alignment tools in civil 3d you can you see once you click on this alignment creation tools you will get this tab here we have tangent with curves tangent without curves okay and a free free line and free arc and float line float arc okay and then a table editor is also there okay so similarly in open roads we have separate set of uh, tools for the lines especially line from element line to element and line between points and then similarly for arcs for arcs uh, arc between points and then simple arc arc from element arc to element and points also there and then very very important features that is nothing but offsets and tappers after that reverse curves options are there and then spiral spiral between between two between two elements and spiral to element and there are a number of options okay and then modify you can modify uh, the alignment here and then in complex geometry uh, we have a separate uh, features like here where uh, tangent with curves and tangent uh, without curves same options are here in the complex geometry okay and then table editor option one important tool is the thing but table editor option is there in table editor you can edit directly the radius and the transition length okay that is displayed here okay and then table editor alignment in civil 3d in civil 3d also one option is there here in table editor you can click here and you can change the curve radius and the transition lengths okay and then design standards in civil 3d while designing any particular alignment you if you have some basic settings of uh, as to or else whatever so you can assign directly so if if you have violated those the standards it will get displayed the errors so similarly in open roads you have separate design standards toolbar can you see UK and uh, ASTO and uh, uh, below that uh, Indian standards also there if you have some particular workspace of Indian then automatically design standards will get applied here okay and one more thing prospector menu this menu if you have design if you are designing the horizontal alignment automatically if you click on that alignment it will get displayed one menu okay prompt menu or prospector menu so what it defines it will use the the next steps if you have if you are doing horizontal it will show the profile and then corridor and then uh, some reports like that if you are using the corridor in the corridor next step is applying the template drop after that corridor objects parametric constraints and then dynamic cross sections view like that it will vary this menu will vary so similarly we have in a civil 3d if you click on the corridor it will get the 
details of the corridor properties and corridor surfaces like that if you click on the uh, horizontal alignment it will give the basic uh, steps for the next procedure okay and then create corridor option in create corridor option normally here we will select the surface and uh, horizontal alignment and uh, assembly also at a time but in open roads uh, we need to, we, we don't have that option we need to create direct one it will create a boundary directly then we have to apply the template drop you can see here we, we no need to select any surface that uh, only thing you have that surface should be active that is enough no need to select here okay and then corridor objects versus corridor properties one very very useful tool is there in our know, open roads that is corridor objects this bucket if you click on that bucket and select that uh, corridor automatically things will get displayed like this here we can edit the start station and end station of that particular template or assembly okay and uh, so many features are there parametric or point control and end condition exception this very useful features and uh, similarly we have here in civil 3d that is corridor properties in corridor properties can you see one is alignment and then alignment is applied with the assembly 3 assembly 3 and start chain is end chain is, and then frequency frequency is nothing but here drop interval okay that's it similar type of uh, menu means tab and then visual styles in visual styles we have around 10 features are there 2d wireframe conceptual hidden realistic shaded like that in like this we have in open roads that is nothing but display styles in display styles can you see wireframe display illustration ignore lighting and uh, smooth trans uh, transparent there are number of features okay so these two are very similar okay and then named boundaries while creating the production of the drawings like plan profile sheets and cross section sheets we have the concept uh, two different concepts but the only the name is different remaining all are uh, similar that is named boundaries we call it in open roads Okay. we have to click on the drawing production tab and then you will get the named boundaries here and there are, there are separate one is plus plan and then profile and then cross section okay so similarly we have framed groups in civil 3d can you see in the output you will get this uh, that is nothing but framed groups can you see here these are the groups okay and then drawing and sheet views normally once the uh, you have run that framed groups uh, what happens it will create the two things one is the drawing model and then sheet model okay so like this it will get uh, create so similarly in civil 3d you have the model view and sheet view okay from the view frame groups okay similar type okay whatever the things edited in the model view it will get reflected in the sheet view similarly it happens for the if you edit in the plan 15 automatically it will reflect in the sheet okay sheet is nothing but a representation purpose in that uh, all things are the I mean title of that uh, company and the title of the project name of the company and uh, from this stretch to this stretch and who designed all things will get in the sheet view okay and then multiple views we have around eight eight views in the open roads designer okay you can see one you can adjust automatically you we can display the cross sections you can display the profile and you can display the 3d view and you can display the 2d view around eight eight of eight views are there and uh, in civil 3d around four options are there okay can you see plan profile and cross section okay. 
that's it guys i hope you like this video and i will continue the uh, one more video on this uh, right now i am also learning few things in civil 3d this is just basic comparison if you are switching to some other software from one software okay so this will give a brief idea means what are the common features where you can find out okay so accordingly you can approach and you can learn very quickly okay thanks for watching please subscribe my channel